here product code and product name we are entering manually see here we have product screen inside that we have already inserted some records into products table for this records or datum we can add stock quantity here in this stock screen okay simply we are inserting sorry manually entering product code and product name means that's not a good logic now we have to use this product screen products table okay i will do like this if i enter product code product name should display automatically no need to enter it manually then it should focus on quantity text box okay for that Yeah, text box one key down. This is the product code key down event. Instead of this text box two dot focus, I will add this code. Yeah, I am fetching product name from products table based on this condition where product code equals text box one dot text. Okay, then if dt dot rows dot count greater than zero means text box two dot text. We are assigning this product name to that uh, text box too. Then it's focus on quantity. If uh, else, text box two dot text equal. It's an empty string. Okay. Let's see how it works. If I enter product code one. Enter, so it's uh, displays a uh, product name under because um, focus in quantity text box. Okay, if I change the product code to enter, so product name also um, display. Sorry, modifying. Okay, if I enter three, that's not uh, in our product list. Okay, we have only two records. Okay, if I enter, see what will happen. Product name is none. Okay. Um, in this method, if you know the correct product code, so um, it works fine because we have uh, minimum records. If we have more n number of record means, how we can remember product code and the product name like that? For that, we will use another method uh, in text box um, text to change event. We will use and uh, one data grid view. Okay, let's see. Okay, here I will add one data grid view and check this enable adding, enable editing, enable deleting. Okay, expanding the screen size. Okay, then product code text change event just double click this text box okay i am adding some code here sql connection data adapter here i am selecting select product code product name from products table where based on product code text box like this text box one dot text product code like this text box one dot text in like condition we have to use this percentage symbol okay then uh, we are assigning this dt to data grid view to the data source equal to dt then for this uh, data grid view to in properties we have selection mode okay change this selection mode to full row select okay then go to this uh, product code key down event here instead of this code okay here text box one dot text means data grid view two dot selected rows that we have mentioned the selection mode is full row select okay cells zero zero means it will display the first item product code then text box two dot text cells one means your product name will display then a cursor should focus on text box three quantity text box okay let's see how it works run the application login stock screen if i enter product code one means here it's displaying relevant product code product name okay change this product name 
so it displaying the product one two okay if i enter two means so it displaying product code two details okay then press enter okay it's displaying the product now a name and then focus it on quantity text box okay if text product code text box length uh, zero means it's displaying all the products that we don't need okay we can change that little bit here yeah, text box one dot text length greater than zero means then only it works it display all the details okay let's check login stop yeah if i enter one so then clear the text box it's displaying only one record not more than record okay it's if you want you can add this code otherwise you just ignore it okay see here uh, this product code um the text change event when we are calling the text change event that time only this uh, data grid we are using um, instead of that we also notice here it allocates some space here okay instead of that we will create dynamic data grid view below this uh, text box after that we will false like that okay to create dynamic data grid view use this code here private data grid view i give the object name dg view here we are uh, declare two columns dg view call one and call two this is the function void search okay then in a void search function dg view instance of this new data grid view dg view call one call two like that the same then our dg view column header height size mode is auto size these all properties are we can add this um see here uh, click this um data grid view here we have the properties now that we can manually add it here okay like add range uh, property here then um, dg view name is dg view the data grid view name is dg view then by default uh, it will be for visible false then a uh, column also visible false allow user to add rows we are setting as false then a uh, row header visible false here uh, selection mode is full row select okay then we can uh, uh, call the event also here i just commented this line if you want a, a, you can add um, key down event mouse double click event like that then uh, this dot controls dot add dg view all the controls we are adding this to dg view date that is a da dynamic data grid view okay dg view read only we are uh, setting true okay dg view uh, dot bring to friend okay here um, we are creating the same function name with a parameter okay here lx int lx int ly means this is a dynamic data grid view location x coordinate and y coordinate and then int dw dh means a data grid view size okay then uh, here we are uh, passing the parameter column name and column size we are uh, assigning here two columns declared okay that we have to mention here We have to call this function on form load event. In text change event, product code text change event, I am changing this code. Okay, if text box one text length zero mean greater than zero means DG view dynamic data grid view visible true DG view bring to front. Okay, here we are mentioning the uh, function go to this function here we have parameter now one two three four six a parameter we have to pass that here okay 15105 then our uh, size of the data grid view height and width here we are using two columns product code and a product name and then size zero means uh, it will fill the entire uh, row of the entire column of the size okay then if you want a mouse double click event you can add it i just comment now then we are adding the same query before we added 
okay, SQL connection here we are using select top 10 first top 10 will display in that grid product code product name from products table based on product code like text box one dot text here we are using like condition only uh, assigning um, this um, fetched data to data grid view okay here zero cell value zero means it's a uh, um, product code cell value one means product name okay if uh, the text box length is not greater than zero means dg view visible false now no need to use this uh, data grid view just delete it and uh, okay um, run the application In key down event I just command now okay if I enter product code you can see here the date dynamic data grid view is displaying here if I change product code to its um, product to details displaying here if I clear the product code text box this data grid view visible false okay okay that's working fine okay uh, then if i enter uh, then a product name should display and a cursor should focus on quantity for that we will write um, key down event and if i click uh, in the data grid view mouse double click event we will implement now okay In key, uh, text box one key down event, I am adding this code. If data grid view rows dot count greater than zero means DG view selected rows zero, and then text box to product name will display, and then data grid view will visible visible false. Then it should focus on text box three. If DG view rows dot count is not greater than zero means that uh, grid view property visible false. Okay, let's check. Okay, enter so it's working fine now if I mouse double click in this data grid view it should display for that okay yeah I will add this uh, mouse double click event sorry here I am named the function product code mouse double click I created a variable bool change true if um, the change bool variable is true means then only this function will execute this uh, code um, when it first we are uh, uh, changing the change bool variable false then text box one dot text we are assigning that uh, product code product name to relevant um, text boxes then um, dynamic data grid view visible false then cursor should focus on text box three then again we are changing uh, bool variable value true okay and uh, we have to use this in search function here This the DG view mouse double click event. This is the met, um, this is the way to call the event here in that code system.windows.forms mouse event handler this dot product code. Just go to this definition. Already we created this. Okay, let's see how it works. Click start button, login. Yeah, if I enter product code one, double click this um uh, here it works fine okay if i change this to product code 2 if i enter product code 20 sorry quantity then click add button record saved successfully we have a message then we have inserted record in the data grid okay friends i hope uh, you understand this uh, stock screen um 
add and delete operation reset operation all the things i explained okay in our next video we will discuss how to show report for stock and products okay uh, see you there in next video okay bye